Mark, as we kick off this series on how social media can boost SEO, let's ask the big question first. Yeah. Do social media engagement metrics and links directly impact SEO? Well, the short answer to that is no. Now there's reasons behind that, and there's, these reasons really lead me, and I think they've led you as well, to believe that Google's telling the truth when they emphatically state, as they have for years, that they don't use social as a signal. Now what are some of those reasons? Well, one of them would be social is just a very weak and unreliable signal overall. For one thing, Google doesn't even try to index all of social media. So it's an incomplete signal, and Google doesn't like incomplete signals. They don't know if they're getting what they need, the information they need from it. Um, it's much harder to trust the authority of a profile versus that of a site in the way that Google relies on sites from links and things like that. And engagement doesn't really communicate anything definite. I mean, we see Facebook backing away from likes as an indicator of something that should be promoted to its own users. Mm -hmm. And also, you know, just the fact that, uh, I think it's very significant that most of the major social sites no longer pass on engagement metrics through their API to, to our sites. We can't even show those numbers in most cases. So if they don't think it's important, it's probably not important. Right. And finally, uh, links are the big thing in SEO still. Social media links, most of them are no follow. So again, they don't even pass on the authority. Right, so if links in social media posts aren't direct ranking signals, why do you say social media can still be an effective link building strategy? Well, sites won't link to content they've never seen, right? And social media is still an effective way to promote your content. So you gotta get it seen, use social media to get it seen. Uh, so this means that, it doesn't mean just posting randomly to social media, there's an importance of building the right audience. You want an audience who that matters to. Uh, you want to use paid social to target people like journalists, bloggers, other media figures, influencers, who uh, when they see your content might be the kind of thing that they want to share with their audience and, and help spread it, again, increasing the opportunities for links. Gotcha, so what are some specific things people should do then on social media to increase their chances of earning links to their content? Well, I think never publish a piece of content without a plan for how it will be promoted on social media. Uh, keep a constantly updated list of your evergreen content and share it at different times and days on different networks to maximize the exposure. And foster strategic relationships with influencers and writers in your niche. And in another uh, video of this series, I'm gonna talk more about that. So thanks, Mark. Watch for parts two and three of this series on how social media can boost your SEO.